Hello and welcome to this Microsurgical and Educational Institute tutorial. My name is Victor Allen, Allen Messe, and I'd like to talk to you about uh, the post preparation technique that I have developed using the Indo Sequence system. Uh, today's case is a more advanced application of this particular post preparation technique involving multiple teeth. I, um, the following patient was referred for pre prosthetic endodontic therapy on teeth 6 through 11. The six anterior teeth were to be treated due to um, erosion and attrition in the lingual surface of all teeth and the requirement for a post in order to build the teeth back up. The endo sequence and instrumentation and uh, obturation was utilized and all teeth were prepared to a final size of a 40 or 4 endo sequence uh, got a perchic cone and uh, this here you can see that they were actually uh, fitted with uh, 04 size 40 uh, paper points. After the fitting of all teeth and the corresponding size uh, fiber post endo sequence uh, posts have been fitted and uh, stoppers have been used to demonstrate the place uh, the, the reference point for these teeth. Here you can see the rubber dam isolation using also uh, opal dam to seal those areas. I'm now injecting the uh, endo sequence by a ceramic sealer inside each canal after preparation and irrigation and drying. So this injection technique is a very efficient way of placing the sealer in the canal. It does require some experience so that the right amount and, uh, of the sealer is actually placed in the canal. It's important not to create an overfill. This comes with some experience working on extracted teeth and getting a hang of the flow of the bioceramic sealer, the endo sequence bioceramic sealer, and uh, learning how much of the material to uh, place in the canals. Following placement of the canals, uh, of the sealer, in all canals. Now um, you can see that we have the fitted uh, fiber posts. Uh, so deducting the size of the fiber posts from the length of the canal uh, and the fitted gutta percha cones that we already have, we actually can determine the tip of or the remaining amount of gutta percha at the very tip for each canal that needs to be cemented in order to have a pull space beyond that space. So the tips are actually uh, cut off using a sharp scalpel and the tips are placed in the canal and the remaining portion of the gutta percha cone is used to insert and um, condense that cut tip down in the canal. This creates an immediate post space uh, that is left once the segment of the gutta percha beyond the post has already been cemented. This is really a byproduct of the current way of fitting uh, the endo sequence cone uh, into the canal and then having the ability to have the bioceramic sealer to fill in the gaps. You can see now a uh, small condenser is then used to condense the remaining uh, segment a little bit more, but you can't condense using the gutta percha handle. It's important not to press too hard to not to get an extrusion, but you would always avoid having an overextension of the cone by having a proper cone fit to begin with. So. All fitting of the gutta percha should be done prior to the placement of the cement. And all gutta percha cones have to be essentially locked with locking pliers at the reference point. And that should be confirmed later on when cementing. Now here following the placement of the uh, cementing of the tip, this remaining sealer that back flows around the cone up into the chamber has to be cleaned off. Uh, I always use an ultrasonic with water 
the E14D NSK tip uh, would be a good one to use. It's important to make sure that the ultrasonic tip is not going in deep enough to touch the gutta percha tip that's in the canal. Because if you do that, then you actually risk removing uh, some of the sealer uh, around that gutta percha. Now the water is cleaned off using some paper points. And once the uh, space is completely dried off, you are pretty much done. You place your uh, cavity in the openings and you can send the posts along uh, to cement uh, at a following visit. So here you can see that the posts have been cemented. I mean, the, the post pieces have been made and cavity has been placed. And I actually send the posts to my prosthodontist for cementation. And here are the posts after uh, the um, cones are cemented. I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful.